Alright, let's move to the next one. Alright, I'm sure y'all heard about this by now. Sisters, this should be eye-opening for y'all, for y'all to understand that America is the one that gave y'all these you know, freedoms that y'all have today and these laws that y'all have today. And y'all have to understand, when you leave this country, they not going to pacify you. They not going to treat you like the so-called queen you think you is here. They're going to treat you like a woman. A woman is a servant to a man. A woman is in a lower level or lower class than a man. They're not on the same level. So you'll see that in other countries that are not controlled by white people. So this here, I'm sure y'all seen it already. The sister ran up behind overseas. I don't know, is it Dubai? It sure is Dubai. In Dubai. Thought she was good, huh? But she go over there. She ended up getting into an argument with uh, one of the, I think it was a driver or something like that. She yelled at him. Just same old regular yelling, you know, regular ratchet stuff. Got her behind locked up. So let's check it out. Yeah, a Houston mom, Tina Baxter, says her daughter is in big trouble in Dubai on charges related to screaming in public. 29-year-old Tierra Young Allen is said to have yelled back at a rental car agent who then called the police on her, but her mom says she was charged. Baxter says her daughter's passport has been taken away, a travel ban has been placed on her, and she's been told she's not allowed to leave Dubai pending the outcome of the investigation. Yeah. So, sisters, hope y'all see this, man. This white man done messed y'all up. He done messed y'all up to the max. Well, y'all think y'all can go to other people's house and act the same way. It ain't gonna happen like that. You see the sister got locked up. You have to understand, sisters, it is not natural for you to be as masculine and hard as you are. The only reason you like that is because America taught you that you don't need a man and that you equal to a man. So you try to be like a man. Looking crazy, sounding crazy, don't matter because America got your back. As long as somebody on the like button, which America is on the like button, you're going to feel like you're doing good. <clears throat> but sisters, this, this was going on in the real world. The real world, they ain't playing with y'all. This is fairy tale land here in America for y'all. Not for us, but for y'all, it's fairy tale land. Y'all do whatever y'all want. Y'all got a plethora of, of men in your inbox at all times. You can get whatever you want. All you gotta do is play the whole game that they presenting to you. You play that game, you can get everything you want out of here. But you sisters gotta understand, the white man can't protect you everywhere now. And the crazy part is, I wonder if the white man gonna go over there and save the day. Because that's what she expecting. That's who told her she can get out of line like that. Ain't nobody tell her she couldn't go over there doing it over there, though. So is a white man going to run over there and say today? We're going to see. You sisters pay attention. We'll go to the next one, man. This is wild. Sickness. In sickness and in health. And in health. To love. To love. Cherish. Cherish. And to obey. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't talk about that one in council. We did talk about that in council. <laughs> yes, we did. So you want me to repeat that again? You want to just keep going? I think we can keep going. All right. <laughs> In sickness, in sickness, and in health, and in health, to love. Why is that so funny amongst everybody in the marriage? This tell you how bad it is out here. It's it's funny that the wife chooses not to even say in the marriage vows that she gonna obey, and then try to play games like she didn't know that that was in there. And the brother said, "Yeah, we did go over this," and she gonna sit there and act like she didn't hear it. Bro, this is this is bad news right here, brother. This is a start, start in interrupting your marriage from the beginning. Like your marriage is doomed from the beginning because your woman refused to be in the order that God set up. And then try to play stupid at the wedding day after y'all been going through this in the counseling. I'm gonna do one more game, man. 
to love, cherish, and cherish. Sickness in sickness and in health. And in health. To love. And sickness and in health is not happening. Alright? It's just not happening. If dude gets sick, she done. She gone. She in, she in Miami spending his money. To love. Cherish. And cherish. And to obey. <laughs> We gotta be in an evil country where everybody thinks this is funny. It would not be funny if we was in Arabia and that broad did that. It'd be damn near off with the head. <laughs> It'd be damn near off with the head for it to even do or say something like that. But in America, it's just all good. Everybody yuck it up. It would have been nobody laughing in Saudi Arabia or Africa in a country that the white boy don't run. It wouldn't have been nobody laughing. They'd have been like, ooh, she about to get up behind her toe up. They would have known this is out of order, this wickedness. But here in Babylon, in America, confusion reigns. Confusion is on top. And that's the reason why it's okay for women to be so disrespectful and nobody say nothing. On top of that, they laughing, yucking it up like it's all good. This wickedness right here, that woman wicked as hell. It was a simple statement. Simple. Let's get it real quick. It's not hard. It is not hard. It's simple. God expects you to obey your husband in everything. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. It said obey. Sister, yes. That's what God said you're supposed to do. You can't turn around and make it seem like, oh, nah, we ain't talking about that. Let's just keep it moving past that. Oh, we would have stopped the whole matter. We would have stopped the whole way. Let me turn that sideways and make sure y'all can see. For the people in the back, they act like they don't know what the Bible say. Ephesians 5, 22. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. And he is the savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. This is what she should have understood before you had her at the altar. Before you got married to her, she should have understood she got to obey everything you say. If she don't accept obeying everything you say, you already know this is not a good wife for you. This woman will not be a good mother for your children, and this woman is not a good woman, period, in God's eyes. It's just, it's the truth. Because they want you to believe if she, you know, got so many careers and she's successful in this life and all that, she's strong and independent, she's a good woman. No, God tell you differently. The Bible tells you in Ecclesiastes 26-25 in the Good News Translation that a self-willed woman is a bitch. We went through that before. We have went through this before. So all these women out here like this woman you see being self-willed. Now, nah, I don't have to obey. I do what I want to do. Well, the Bible calls you a bitch, sweetheart. You don't want to be known as a bitch to God, do you? Well, you might want to repent and do right. You can't do right by doing the way you want to do it. You got to do it the way God said to do it. God already set up the definitions of right and wrong, good and evil. That's why he said, woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. Meaning the things God say is good, you calling that evil. He says it's good for a woman to submit and obey her husband, and you calling that evil. The Lord said destruction coming for you. You got to understand that. Let's get back to it, man. Sickness. In sickness. And in health. And in health. To love. To love. Cherish. And cherish. And to obey. <laughs> we didn't talk about Come that on, in the house. We didn't talk about Come on, man. She's sad, man. She's sad. Let's go to the next one. Which one is harder to be in a relationship with, single mom or single father? I'm gonna have to say single father. 
a single mother, wouldn't you say she's looking for that man to step in as a provisionary at some point, meaning that he will have to provide for those kids at some point? At some point. Like, he will have to show something. Okay, people. now, so take that, right? Would you say the same thing for the single father? Would he look for that woman to come in and to provide tangible things from that woman? Would he look at her to provide that now? Okay, so think about that, right? So since the woman looks for security value, naturally, whether she got a kid or not, she looks for security. And in order to get that security met, the guy has to provide. Right. But vice versa, on the single father, he's not looking for that girl to come in and to provide. So wouldn't you say it's harder for a guy to date a single mother because he has to provide something? Oh, not only that, gosh. let's say this, right? <laughs> wouldn't you say that he has the bulk of the responsibility with zero authority when it comes to the kids because if the kids is acting up oh don't oh don't talk to my kids like that oh don't hit my kid that's my baby oh don't do this so he has all the responsibility of raising these kids but no authority and guess what responsibility without authority is slavery wow oh mm. yeah you're speaking shots fired so yeah the responsibility without authority, the brother said, is slavery, all right? The truth is, in America, they're trying to turn men into slaves to women. And it's common sense that if you have a single father or a single mother, that the one joining the single mother is going to work a lot harder. The man is a provider. That's his job. He's going to provide. The woman is going to take... <laughs> Especially an American woman, because that's all she taught to do. But join a man, if you brothers have to understand, when you join a single mother, you are taking on bills. That's, what, that's all you're doing. You're taking on bills. Not just her, you're taking on her child. That's what you're taking on. And y'all have to accept that so you can understand what you're doing. If you don't accept it in your mind that that's what's going on, you're going to keep on falling into the same trap. Because these women are not going to tell you, oh, no, nah, you know, you're going to have to pay for this for him. You're going to do that. They're going to act like you ain't got to pay nothing for the baby. Oh, I don't, I don't, my child don't need a stepdad. I just need, you just need to be here for me. All the, all the while, every time you go out to eat, you got to get something for that baby. Every time you go do this and do that, you got to include the child. Why? Because you chose to jump your behind in there and be Captain Saberho for another man's woman. That's what happened. At the end of the day, that's what happened. Instead of being a real man telling her, why are you trying to talk to me while you got a child? Why don't you go back to your child father? What are you doing over here trying to spread your legs on social media? But we don't do that. We run up on them and act like everything all good. And brothers, y'all have to understand that's showing hatred to your brother at the end of the day. Like, you're supposed to love your brother, love your neighbor, and that's showing hatred to your brother. Taking this woman in that she didn't commit adultery, she didn't commit all kind of fornication, she didn't went completely against this man, and now here you come being Captain Save Ho, giving her opportunity at a new life. While she's in full blown sin. Y'all gonna learn one day, man. Y'all gonna stop taking on all these extra burdens for nothing. And y'all gonna repent from this sin. Uh let's go to the next one. Because that, I mean, that's, that was pretty self-explanatory, though. So how about when I get home, this motherfucker done packed up and got the fuck up out of here. He done moved all his shit up at my motherfucking house. So I'm calling his phone. I'm blowing him up. Remind you, this is the this is my closet where all his stuff is at. Where it normally be ain't shit in the motherfucking closet. He done packed the fuck up and got up out of here. He's a fucking lame for that. Like, I'm calling his phone and asking him, like, what's going on? What's the problem? I mean, what you upset for? You know what I'm saying? Why you leave? Like, why you leave? Why you being a coward? Why you couldn't face me? Why you had to sneak and do it? Why you had to wait until I go to work and then try to go do it? The rest, stop. 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 You know what I'm saying? So, the shit is fucking crazy. All it borders down to y'all. Y'all know I just went on this fucking trip. I just left and went on this motherfucking trip and he wasn't feeling the goddamn trip. Tell me I'm going with a whole bunch of people that don't that he don't know and all this this and that and um how do they look? I'm in a whole lot of relationship and I'm going out of town with people that I don't even I don't know and all this motherfucking shit. You mean to tell me we've been together for ten years. We've been together for ten and a half goddamn years, going on eleven years. 
Got six kids with this nigga. Like, really, what? Because I go on a trip, you gonna motherfucking pack your shit up and you gonna dip up out of here? Really? Like, this shit crazy as hell, y'all. I don't know what the fuck I'm about to do. Like, what the fuck I'm about to do? I'm over here, done moved in this damn three-bedroom motherfucking place. Three, um, three-bedroom, two-and-a-half baths. Gotta pay all this motherfucking rent by my goddamn self. And on top of that, take care of fucking nine kids by myself, y'all. This shit crazy. And six of these kids are his motherfucking kids. Like, this crazy. This shit crazy as fuck. Cut them lights off. I already ain't got no motherfucking body to help me with these bills. Cut all these lights off in this motherfucker. Cut all these lights off. We don't need no lights on. This shit crazy as hell. Six kids. You put six kids in this woman after she already had three kids. That's what I heard. I mean, I heard a lot of stuff. That's that stuck out to me. You put six kids in this woman after she already had three kids, brother. I mean, you get what you asked for after a while. You get what you asked for. She got three kids, man. She belonged to the streets, man. I'm telling you straight up. She got three kids, and she out looking for a man. She belonged to the damn streets. She have no idea what's going on in life. But notice the reason why he left. Why the hell do our sisters think it's okay to go on these trips? Why they got a man? Mind you, I'm sure he told you not to go, and you refused to obey your husband. You weren't thinking about all them bills, about how them nine kids got to have this and that. You weren't thinking about none of that. All you was thinking about shaking your behind on Miami uh, South Drive Boulevard. That's what you was thinking about. You wasn't thinking about doing right by your husband. You wasn't thinking about your kids. And now you're in a situation where everybody got to turn off all the lights in the house. Sisters, I hope y'all paying attention, man. So you don't do this same thing and get left by your husband. Because this is common sense. If he tell you, hey, I don't want you going on a girl's trip, man. I already know what go down on the girl's trips. I want you going to stay at the house. And you still think you're going to go? Just know something like this could happen to you. You can be alone when you get back. She came back, all them clothes was gone. And it's sad, but he should have never been there in the first place. He should have never put six kids on him. Like, this is not how... Let me get that real quick. Because... People think it's a game out here. You just having babies by this nigga, having babies by that nigga. That's not how it works, man. That is not how it works. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 23, verse 23. It says, For first she had disobeyed the law of the Most High, and secondly, she had trespassed against her own Husband, this is what she did when she came over with her three kids to come to you. And thirdly, she had played the whore in adultery and brought children by another man. The Lord called that playing the whore in adultery, just so y'all know. It ain't cool to have two, three baby daddies. He said she played the whore in adultery by bringing in children by another man. All you women with two, three baby daddies is what you is. I know y'all don't want to hear it, but that's the truth. Y'all got to understand how God look at y'all so y'all can repent and stop doing the foolishness that America told you was okay. God is not cool with you jumping from man to man. I'm going to read that again. For first, she had disobeyed the law of the Most High. And secondly, she had trespassed against her own husband. And thirdly, she had played the whore in adultery and brought children by another man. Yeah, you don't want to be that, just so you brothers know. Get back to it. All right, I gotta get, I gotta, I gotta get a video. All right, I gotta get this on. Oh my gosh. Now you go. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't even get the right angle. What do you mean the food been out for three minutes? 
Yeah, but you keep like putting your hands in there, like the like do I don't mean? know. It looks weird. What like, do you mean? Light, what, I think what it's was... a light. Sorry, I gotta get. I gotta. I don't know if y'all can see that. It really don't look like y'all can see it on there. But um, it's a, a young sister uh, at a you know, dinner date or lunch date or whatever, and she is taking a thousand pictures and videos of the food. And the brother trying to eat, and he can't even eat because she won't let him. She just telling him, hold on, I got to get this angle. I got to get that angle. So check it out. I got to get a video. I got to get this. Oh, my, oh my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Wait, wait, you got no, it? wait. Uh, I didn't you even get the right angle. What do you mean the food been out for three minutes? Yeah, but you keep like putting your hands in there, like the like do I don't mean? know, it looks weird. Like, what do you mean? Light, what, I what, think what it's the lighting. Like why why is your plate like that? Like put it like this. And then put your your drink is not even supposed to be there. Like, what do you mean my drink's not supposed to be there? You're not like I don't know. Is it your first time? It? You know? My first time. This is the annoying as hell. It's amazing that he's still sitting down. But it's gonna keep going. No, why would it be my first time eating out? I eat. You just the food everything. comes out and then I eat. No, you should. Oh my god, you're supposed to like at least take a picture. And then we have to cheer still, so like, why? Like, you have to wait. I'm waiting. I've been waiting. I've been waiting patiently for five minutes after the fifth take. Is that you even, got it? Is that a problem? Like, how? Like, are you that hungry? No, I'm. I'm just saying though, like, 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 this. the food, this looks so good. I'm, I'm trying to enjoy it though. I'm ready to look. It looks really good. I'm gonna do a, I used to do, okay, I'm gonna do a video too, okay? So be ready, okay? So what you was doing the last five minutes? Be ready, I took the picture. Of the picture. That, it took you that long to take a picture? Oh. Um, okay, uh, all right, come on, what, what? Whatever, like, can you just grab your drink? All right, I'm just gonna yeah, cheers, it, come on, cheers. Wait, no, go over there. What do you mean over there? Go, okay? Go where? Like, you, like, cheers. Okay, never mind. Start from here. Like, like that. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. One, two, three. Go away. Alright. There. You cool. Can we drink it? Well, no, no, wait. Oh, oh, my gosh. You didn't even do it right. What do you mean? I, I didn't do it right. I said one, two, three, then you go like that, and you were like this. What do you mean I was like this? What do I got to so, do? Okay, just right, cheers. Alright, hurry up. Just cheers. This is crazy. What did I say? Okay, one, two, three. Go away. Okay, wait, wait, wait. 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 Okay, wait, Shut up, bitch! My goodness. There is no way I would have been able to sit through that. I, I'm sorry if it's not built like that. There's no way I would have been able to sit through that. Uh, she would have been out of there. I would have been grubbing because I wouldn't have gave it down. You want to do a photo shoot, you got to do that while I'm eating, sweetheart. But. The, just the, the mindset of thinking you can control a man when he can eat. While he paying for the whole food and everything, you sitting here letting his food get cold and think everything good. Self-willed woman is a bitch. Sorry, right, come on. I'm quiet. Come on. Let's okay. go. Let's okay, go. put it right here. Yep, I'm, I got it right here. One, two, three. Okay. Boom. Got it. Then why right? Can I get anyone? And you're drinking. Well, what do you mean? How, how do you want me to look? Yeah, smile. How, how can I smile when I've been waiting on the food? Like, come on, well, I've been okay, waiting on the food. This is why we're waiting because you're not cooperating. Cooperating? This is the, this is food. What are we doing why are you for? Are we out doing? To eat for? Yeah, is, 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 is social media going to be? Why are you going to be like moody like that? You've been on the phone I'm the whole time. I'm a foodie. You know I do this. You've been I'm on the food. What do you mean you're a foodie? Food? You're not I, no food. Yeah. You just I be did, on social I media eating food. For so, so this is your job. So you took me out on a job. I thought we were going on a date. Yeah, but I mean, like. So this is so so you working. For me. That's so if I, I knew I was coming to work with you, then you should have let me know that before the date. Is it a problem? Like, it's a so big problem you because we've been on your phone the whole time. You've been talking about, oh, she's with this man, she's with that. Your whole life is like evolved around social media. And I just want to enjoy the food. Okay, but and it's I like have, I'm trying to enjoy this with you. Man, what? Your followers ain't here right now. It's me and you in the present moment. Your followers ain't here. Who's here with you? I'm okay, here in front of you. And I just okay, want to eat. About it. Let's, yeah, yeah. Just here. forget about it. Forget about the whole thing. Can we eat now? Can you? Because I'm tired. Of it. Okay, the last thing I'm asking you is just cheers and then smile. I'm, 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 I'm what do you mean? I'm, 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 I'm,
I, you know, I couldn't even watch the rest of it. I had to take a second. But uh, yeah, I seen it last time, man. It's just ridiculous. Uh, sisters, don't be this woman. Don't be like this. Don't try to control a man. Don't try to tell him when he can eat, when he can't eat. Don't try to take pictures of his food. We don't like that shit. We want to eat our food. We don't want to sit there and have a damn photo shoot. We want to eat our food. So please, sisters, do not be this woman. All right? Let's get to the next one. I'm out here in Miami oh. Looking for the hoochie daddy Why the niggas that get racist My son need a new baby Leilani, you got my daughter singing pound to Get her dress and come and get her right now One more game I'm out here in Miami Looking for the hoochie daddy Got my <sighs> Boy, this shit is a bit much, man, sometimes. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I don't know if y'all see the ratchet-ass look on the baby face. Extra ratchet. Like, she just been watching her mama and studying her mama ratchet face. Like, oh, yeah, that's the one right there. And she put it on perfectly. The perfect ratchet face in the middle of the most ratchet song. The... This is somebody's daughter, man. This is amazing. Uh, I'm out here in Miami. Looking for the hoochie daddy. Y'all better stop letting the women call y'all hoochies, man. Alright? Y'all need to stop that. I don't care if hoochie daddy, I don't care about nothing. Stop letting these women call y'all hoochies, man. Uh, it is disrespectful. Where the niggas that get ratchet? Where the niggas that get ratchet? Now, I haven't heard this song, so it, it, these just few little lyrics here is new to me. What the niggas that get ratchet? What the hell are we listening to, man? What the hell is this shit? What the niggas that get ratchet? When niggas start getting ratchet? This shit is sad, man. My son need a new pappy. My son need a new pappy. Well, disgust. I can't explain the level of disgust hearing this. The level of disgust that it gives me hearing this, man. And for you to involve a child, not just in the video, but uh, the sister making the song. I, think, I heard it was uh, uh, Suki. And for you to involve your child and say, my son need a new pappy. That's another level of foolishness, another level of ratchet. You being a perfect demon for these white folks. Perfect demon destroying your people. And this is sad to watch, man. But back to the sister that allowed her daughter to be in this video. This is another example of how, you know, you'll see little girls that know all the Nicki Minaj lyrics, know all of her dance moves, can do the whole video that she do and know all the moves. Again, women are not supposed to be raising children alone, all right? Because they look at the damn child as a little action figure. They dressing their child up and putting makeup on their child, doing all this craziness because they think their child is a little version of them. Not understanding this is a child, haven't matured yet, nothing. But you got little bitty skirts on them, you got them out here dressing in the same clothes. Y'all trying to have the same units on. And then you got her singing these same songs that you listening to. To the point where she know the lyrics. Look like she ain't even three years old yet. But she know all the lyrics to Palm Time. Boy, brothers, if, if y'all can't see that y'all need to get in y'all family's lifestyle. Be more in the order. More teaching. More leading then y'all have to understand America is going to do your job for you. If you won't lead your family, guess what? America going to lead them right to destruction. You are the only one that can stop this, brothers, because the woman going to keep allowing it to happen. They're going to keep on letting they, their children get corrupted. They're going to keep allowing the government to use their children to corrupt, to corrupt your family as well. So you brothers have to repent. You have to come back to God's laws 
and then have God send you righteous women that will obey in everything. Because these women today, if this man had full control over his wife, you think she would be teaching that? You see how mad this man is? You teaching my daughter this? This is wickedness, man. We got to wake up to what's righteous and what's not. You cannot teach a child no song like that and think it's okay. And people clapping it up and likes and hearts. Again, that show you where we at, man. We're in a wicked ass country. Go to the next one. This wicked ass sister. No. Come on, man. You a parent. You know what I'm saying? Too. Yes, I'm I don't here no more. I'm sorry. What? You don't be here. You don't be here taking care of her. You don't be going through all the stressful stuff that I, that I be going through. So, I want to go out. I want to go to the club. I want to travel. I want to be able to get up at 2 a.m. and go home with my friends if I want to do it. You don't be no Keep it on to the street. I'm working. What are you talking about? You know and you sound real selfish like that. Saying that. You sound real selfish. I'm alone. You're supposed to be her father and I'm alone. Keep I am her father. And I am here so with her. where do you be at? Because you might as well be a uh, asset baby daddy and I might as well put you on child support. Uh, and where the baby at right now? With your mother. With my mother. Yeah, because you want to see her. But she told me she was gonna be here with you. Why would you be here with me? I don't want her. Oh my God, you sound real selfish, man. I like I don't even understand how we even going through this right because now. Because you don't be here, I gotta sit there and bathe your child every night. I gotta. Sit but here. that's what you're supposed to do. I gotta sit here and listen to your child cry about her father not being here every night. I gotta put her to sleep. I gotta sit here and take her to the doctor when she's sick. I gotta sit here and take her in and out the store with a big heart. Again, they hate being mothers. They do not want to be wives and mothers. America is teaching them that that is the worst thing you could be. And she is feeling the pain right now because she want to run them down the streets. And that's what you brothers got to do better. You living on Section 8 and you can't pay the bills, brother? You you need to do better, brother. If you're on Section 8, you the house, out the damn apartment I already paid for. You Surely you can take care of the rest, brother. You brothers got to do better when it comes to that. You wanted this kid. You sat there on your knees crying, begging, snapping out oh, upstairs. Oh, I was you wanted crying. to keep your kid. Yes, I want to keep him. I didn't want this kid. Okay. Never beg a woman, brothers. Never. You waited two years. You waited two years, and now you want to give it up? No, I want to. I didn't want to give it up. What you didn't? What you didn't? Okay, because you said you were gonna be here. Oh. She said I wanted to give it up before it even got here. All right, and I'm here. So why are we? Why are we yeah, doing it? Yeah, I'm with you. You're not here when it counts. You're not here when it counts. So I don't want her. So you can either go pick her up from your mother's house, or she'll be in the fire station next week. And you're I'm not sick. Next somewhere. Oh, oh. She say, pick her up, or she gonna be. At the fire station, and I'm gonna be in Miami somewhere. This is what we're dealing with, man. We're dealing with women that think it's okay to leave their child at the fire station so you can go be a hoe in Miami. Leave your child at the fire station. That's what she said. I don't want mom. She said, look, you either gonna get her or she's gonna be at the fire station and I'm gonna be in Miami. She's serious, just in case y'all don't know. She dead serious. Oh, oh, oh. That's what she is, man. And that's what I'm doing. No, you're not. Look, y'all see her? Y'all see this right now? Y'all see how she's standing right now? Two hours a week. You got witness this right here? Oh my God, you sound so pathetic. You sound so pathetic. You sound so pathetic right now. You know what I mean? You you doing the thing, the essential things that a mother's supposed to. Okay, what is the father supposed to do? What you mean? I go to work. The the father go to work, provide for the family, protect the family. Because I pay for daycare. Your mother picks her up. Okay, it's a team, man. Another good point. What are you providing, brother? You got a problem on your hand. 
it is no way you should be in this situation where she's under Section 8 and you still not paying other bills, yet you at work all day, brother. Come on now, you got to do better. Uh, you put yourself in a situation with this ratchet-ass female in the first place. You should have vetted her eye better and made sure you was getting a wife and a mother. But to put yourself in a situation where now you can't even pay the bills, brother, on a Section 8? Most of it being paid for you already. That's just flat out lazy, brother. I'm going to tell you straight up. That's flat out lazy and there's some funny business going on. Maybe there's some tricking going on on the side. I don't know, but it don't sound, it, the math is not mathing right now. Ain't no way you're going to have all of this hours that you're working and then a Section 8 and then you're not paying bills. What the hell are you doing with your money? All right, look, brothers, do not get yourself put in this situation. You have to understand that you keeping a roof over your head and you paying your own bills is essential. That's regular grown-up shit. Once you do that, then you only allow women into your household that is going to obey you and keep your commandments like the Bible say. But if you won't do that, you try to move in with a woman, you putting yourself in a, in a situation where she got the power. You got to understand, brothers, you got to put yourself in the top seat. Stop sitting women next to you. Make sure any woman that comes into you is under you and she treats you with the utmost respect. If she doesn't, you're going to end up in a situation like this here. Where the woman just feel like, well, this shit just ain't going to work. I just need to get back out in the streets. This shit is sad to watch, man, but this is a brother's life that we're looking at. That he ain't got no control over. child that she have, man, that's that's sad right there. That's sad for the child, but the child got to grow up knowing her mama didn't want him and seeing this video. That's sad, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That, that, like, I don't understand why I even came in this situation with you. Anyway. I don't either. Nobody, nobody told you to sit there begging your knees to have a kid with me. Oh, so I begged on my knees? Yes, you did. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I see how you're trying to play it. But you, that don't, that don't change the way. You know I was in the delivery room? Because I feel like your mother was there during the delivery room. Who were you? Which, that day I had to go put oh, so somebody. Oh, you in the delivery room with Jordan, so I don't know. But I came, I came after the fact. I, I came. I'm not about to keep doing this. No, no, hold on. So no, I'm not about to keep doing this. No, you're going to stand right there. You're going to pick her up from your mother's house? Or she going to the fire station come next week and all her stuff will be packed and she will be sitting out there looking crazy. Hey, hey, hey. She's so sincere. So sincere, man. It's just sad. But yeah, man, again, this is the reason why you got to make sure you're dealing with godly women, women that fear God. Because she's supposed to treat this woman, she's supposed to be treating this man with the respect that she would give Christ. <clears throat> well, if she don't have no respect for Christ, surely she ain't gonna give this man no respect. So we always gotta start there, brothers. We always gotta start with the scriptures. Teaching them, making sure they understand the order of marriage. You should never be in a situation where you're with a woman for more than a month, even, and she don't know the order of marriage. She should know this. This should be the first thing you're teaching her. And if she don't want to hear it, you already know you didn't dodge the bullet. Get up out of there. But again, this is seeing stuff like this will help the single brothers to not put themselves in situations like this, man. At least I would hope it would. Let's get this last one in. Let men use you. Ladies, women who win allow men to use them. Oh, you know they're going to lose their mind on that one. 
What do you mean they allow men to use? Yes, we can use you. Feminine, beautiful, and inspirational. We should be able to use you. You are a help me after all. Well, and here's the thing. This is why I tell men in general, black men in particular, don't believe this crap about partners. Women today want you to be able to pay the bills because they feel like if you can't pay their bills, you can't tell them what to do. Well, here's the thing. If you're going to pay some bills, you need to be using her. She needs to be a feminine asset, a feminine tool. You should be able to use everything about this woman to your benefit and to her benefit. You should be able to use her network, her education, her income, anything that she possesses should be yours to use and direct for the betterment of, every, of, of the family. And this is a problem. Women today don't want to be used. Yeah, man, I was a head buster right there from the OG. Women don't want to be used, but we have to understand a woman's purpose is to be used. She's a servant. So if you don't use your servant, your servant is useless. Everything he said about the different ways and forms that a woman is to be used is actually true. The woman's finances belong to her husband. We didn't went through scriptures on that before, Sirach 22 and 4. We've shown y'all that the woman is a servant and a possession to a man several times. Well, now when you hear about a woman being used, it's to the man's benefit, meaning she's being productive. She's being a profitable servant, which Christ says we're supposed to be as his servants. And the ones that's not profitable servants, he said, cast into outer darkness, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. So the ones that refuse to be profitable servants, it don't matter if you're serving, you're an unprofitable servant. You're going to be cast into outer darkness. So if you are a servant, you have to make yourself profitable to your master. And that's the whole thing about breaking the chain of teaching them that they are servants or teaching them that they are under the man's control. When you break that off, now they have no reason to act right. They have no reason to come into this to where they can be used because they can't be used right now in this American mindset. But understanding that the, that the Bible says that they are servants, that's the only way that they will actually allow themselves to be, themselves to be used <clears throat> because they look at it as evil. They look at it as something wrong. So once they see that God says that they are a servant and that their husband is their Lord, well, now they can actually see themselves being used and it not being a wicked thing. Because all you hear in this society is, oh, he used you. Oh, now you don't want no man to use you. You want a man that's going to give you this and give you that. Well, they're not telling you the biblical way a man's supposed to deal with you. You're supposed to obey him in everything, and you're supposed to bring him an inheritance. That's your job. So let's go through that one more game. Let men use you. Ladies, women who win allow men to use them. <laughs> you know they're going to lose their mind on that one. What do you mean they allow men to use And see, the thing about all of these reactions that we see and the people teaching and people trying to do marriage counseling, there is no manual. With the Bible, we have a manual. We have somewhere we can go to and say, okay, these are the instructions. This is what we're supposed to do. Outside of that, it's just everybody's feelings. Everybody's saying what they feel is best and what they feel. It just so happens what the brother is teaching lines up with the Bible. If it wasn't, he'd be off too. But in this society, the reason why they throw the rules of the Bible out is so women are able to be free and do what they want to do. Because there is no rules, there is no law. But once we say and show we're coming back to God and, and doing the things that God say, we have to get this woman in line. We have to show her that God says she have to obey a man and everything. And if she don't, she wicked as hell. We got to show it to her. So yes, you're supposed to be used. But again, you taught that your freedom is worth more. Yes, we can use you. Feminine, beautiful, and inspirational. We should be able to use you. You are a help me after all. Well, and here's the thing. This is why I tell men in general, black men in particular, don't believe this crap about partners. Women today want you to be able to pay the bills because... Let's get that real quick. Ecclesiastes 36. I'm 
about partners. Yeah, don't believe this crap about partners. It's Ecclesiastes chapter 36, verse 24. He that getteth a wife beginneth a possession, a help like unto himself, and a pillow of rest. So he said, once you get a wife, you begin a possession. She's your property. You own her. Any of your property equal to you? Is there anything that you own that's equal to yourself? Nothing. So how can then the woman be equal to you when she's your property? We got to stop believing America. America told you that. God never told you a woman was equal to you. God never told you treat the woman equal to you. Never. Bible says she's supposed to be obeying you in everything. So we got to wonder and figure out where we got these rules from and go back to the Bible where it says, envy not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. I don't believe this crap about partners. Women today want you to be able to pay the bills because they feel like if you can't pay their bills, you can't tell them what to do. Well, here's the thing. If you're going to pay some if you can't pay the bills, you can't tell them what to do. Guess what? You pay all the bills, you still can't tell them what to do. Why? Because America taught them that it don't matter what they give you, you should never give up your freedom and your control. You should never allow a man to control you no matter how much he's done for you, no matter what he's doing for you currently. Only thing that matters is he giving to you and allowing you to be free. That's the American way for a woman. He have to give, 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 and serve and do everything you say while allowing you to do whatever you want to do. We're not in the situation where we able to, okay, yeah, I'm going to pay all your bills. You know, I just need you to cook and clean. They don't even want to cook and clean if you're paying all the bills. That's the sad part. And I'm saying that now. Y'all probably like, nah, our sisters, they're, they're cooking cleaner. Nah, y'all check the internet, man. Because it's out there. The truth is out there of what's really going on. And if you don't believe that, go and ask a random sister, man. Ask them, look, would you do, if, if I pay for all of your bills, would you cook and clean and do everything I say? And all of them going to say no. If you say, will you cook and clean and do everything I say? Because that's what God requires. If you say that to them, they're going to say no. Even though you're paying for every single bill. You could be a damn billionaire. It does not matter. It's because they've been taught that that is beneath them. And that's the reason why the marriage rate is at 60% divorce. Because they've been taught that their position, their real position in life is beneath them. So anytime a man starts acting like that, like expecting you to have some food ready, expecting you to cook, expecting you to clean, oh, that's when you feel like, oh, I don't know who he thinks he is. He thinks I'm his mother. I don't, I'm not cleaning up after him, all that. Y'all been sadly mistaken. Y'all been sadly misinformed on what a woman is and what a woman's purpose is. And now when a man actually expects regular shit from his wife, now she look at him like he's controlling, he's a narcissist, he has toxic masculinity. The only toxic masculinity is in females, just so y'all know. That's the only toxic masculinity. A man's supposed to be masculine as hell. The only toxic masculinity is in females. And most of it come because y'all raising these damn kids by yourself, and y'all got to be more manly so y'all can control their ass. But if you had a man in the house, you'd be able to stay in your feminine nature and a man be able to take care of that business. You need to be using her. She needs to be a feminine asset, a feminine tool. You should be able to use everything about this woman to your benefit and to her benefit. You should be able to use her network, her education, her income, anything that she possesses. Network, education, and income. What does that do? Uh, it enriches the brother, which is her Lord. That's really her job to glorify and enrich him. He should be able to use these things and she should be happy to be used in that way, in a way her Lord is being glorified. Should be yours to use and direct for the betterment of, every, for, of, of the family. That's what they got to understand, that you are doing this for the betterment of the family. Because when a man increases his wealth, he shares it with his family. When a woman increases her wealth, she goes on trips and goes by herself and want to do her own thing and say she don't need a man. 
That's the difference between men getting women and women getting uh, what men getting men money and women getting money. And this is the problem. Women today don't want to be used. At all, man. At all. And it's sad. But the truth is, in order for them to come back to God's laws, they're going to have to understand that literally that's their purpose, to be used. You know, it's hard for them to accept it, but that's what it is. Hope y'all got something out of the video, man. Hope y'all got some understanding. Let me get a scripture before we go. This is the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. And I will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. Again, he said, come out from among them and be separate. Come out from among the wicked ways of this world and be separate from that. Let me give one more. Revelation 18. It's a precept to that. Revelation 18, verse 4. It says, And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins. That's how you come out from America. Don't be partakers of her sins. Don't do the things that she said was okay. Just because America says you can run the streets and you don't need a man, that don't mean you're supposed to actually do it. Just because America says you can eat pork all day and they got it on every corner, don't mean you're supposed to actually do it. Come out from among her and be ye separate. Separate yourself. The word separate is another word for holy. Be ye holy. The Lord said, come out from among her and be ye separate. Come out from among her, or let me, verse 4, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. Yes, it's plagues coming to this place. Why? Because of her sins. That's why. Because of the sins of America, the sins of Babylon, the Lord is bringing plagues on this place. And he said, if you come out from among her, you won't have to deal with the plagues that he's about to put on this place and that he has been putting on this place. But you got to separate yourself from all wickedness, separate yourself from all uncleanness and all people that do not fear and obey God. Let me get one more real quick. Y'all already know how it is. Uh, Ecclesiasticus 2 and 15. Ecclesiastes chapter 2 verse 15 They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word and they that love him will keep his ways. So y'all hear that? He said if you fear God you're not going to disobey him because you know his ass will come with that. You know he will punish you. But the ones that don't know him they don't have no reason to fear him. So he said they that fear the Lord will not disobey his word and they that love him will keep his ways. 